flowers especially the ones that are edible which is what we would use mm -hmm. uh, have yeast on them okay. and it's like wild yeast uh -huh. and so uh, when you take this and put it into sugar water uh -huh. it'll start bubbling then oh. you can use that to make bread you can use that to make like oh. fizzy drinks uh -huh. you can uh, so, yeah. use it to do many different things uh -huh. uh, so <laughs> this morning when we were out with uh, auntie in the kitchen garden which is actually huge we found these beautiful yellow fennel flowers some of them are starting to turn into fennel seeds but some of them are still flower flower shaped flower <laughs> blossom flower yeah. flower blossoms you know, you know what i mean all flowers but especially edible flowers have yeast on them and that can be harvested. So that's what we're going to do right now. And then this can then be used to ferment lots of other things, but it's kind of like a flower starter that we're making. Pop it off. Stop popping. Skills, dude, skills. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to separate these, just whole go in. And, and all we do is just cover this with water. So I just do it with water because it's um, easiest. So there's, if you want to learn more about this, there's a whole course on the fermentation school by Kirsten Chalky, which is called Flower Power, very mm -hmm. aptly named. And it's so good uh, because it goes into detail about how you do it. And she also uses pasteurized mm -hmm. Uh, apple juice mm -hmm. which makes a l lot more sense and mm -hmm. why she does it I just use water because it's easier mm -hmm. you get good results with it but you get even better results with the apple juice mm -hmm. uh, and I just add some sugar eyeball it this is a big jar so we'll give it a bit more sugar uh, it would be better if this was a jar that had like a airtight metal lid. Mm -hmm. the, these aren't great, but this is what we have right now. So this is what we're using. And we just, this lets air in. And then, so this will just end up fermenting, which is also okay. It won't be a yeast extract as much as a fennel, like fennel flower tea that is fermented or, yeah. Or to cover the... Just to give it a head start it doesn't it'll dissolve over time so what do you do with this after this and how long does it take don't ask me how long it okay give me an estimate one year two months no, like, two days. Um, so this will start bubbling especially because this is a plastic lid it'll have yeah. some airflow you can just like leave it in the sun a couple days maybe like three four days and then when you shake it up if you mm -hmm. see it bubbling mm -hmm. It, it's uh, it's starting to ferment and then you can just open it and taste it and if you like what you taste then you can drink it or add it into something else can you make soda from this you can make soda from this yeah and it's a because this is wild yeast mm -hmm. on the flowers we're not like adding a culture right like yeah. whatever's on this and we don't know what it is and every like the same flower in another region will have different set of yeasts or even between like this kitchen garden and the farm it'll be it there are different yeah. uh different combination of microbes on it so it it works um sometimes it does work but mm. that's what wild fermentation is uh but when it works it's amazing and i do you see like, like some bubbles what else can you use? Like a sourdough? This, yeah, you can use this as a what, like a yeast starter for mm -hmm. sourdough. It'll have like a slight fennel flavor. Oh, nice. um, you can use it for sourdough. You can use it for any like flatbreads mm -hmm. that you're like leavened flatbreads. Yeah naan and other That's stuff you can easy. add in yeah it's super easy instead of using water you use yeah. this it will add some sweetness mm -hmm. 
because of this, but you can also dilute it a little bit if you don't want it. You see these like shiny bits, like little dots? Those are all bubbles that are starting from the yeast that is... Oh, see them here? Can you see those like they look like ice? Ah. Those are bubbles from the yeast eating the sugar. So it's so cool. So cool. Look, that's big one there. A few behind these. Look at them. Is it ready? It's ready when uh, a lot of the sugar has dissolved. And this takes time. You can speed it up a little bit by mixing it around. Uh, and if it's a tight lid and you're not going to use it anytime soon, then you can just stick it in the fridge and it'll be ready in like a couple of weeks time. Uh, right now, I'm going to just give this a sniff and see. Oh, smell this. Mm. It's like a fennel and, uh, juice. Yeah, it, it smells like very strongly of fennel and much stronger than the flowers themselves right um and also you can just drink it like this but what if i want to use it in as a starter and all that stuff like when 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 would i know it's ready it's ready when it, when you see like a lot more of the bubbles like right now what we're seeing here is just the beginning of the bubbling and as more of the sugar dissolves you'll start seeing like more bubbles popping up to the surface and that's when you know it's quite active and if you when, if you want to use it like yeast uh, you wait for that to happen because it it shows that it's active uh, right now it would be quite slow if you used it so since we made this yesterday uh, today already we're starting to see some activity but I would give it maybe the rest of the week it's also cooler um, so yeah I'd give it about a week and as soon as you start seeing like more bubbling activity it's good to start using as yeast